Hello, this is Gopi Krishna. Thank you for the opportunity by providing us a platform to showcase our skills through this Nutanix Code Challenge. I work for EasyDC Automation. We EasyDC as a professional services organization has delivered many HDDC end user computing and cloud automation design and deployment projects to our client across ASEAN and India region. EasyDC is a successful and trustable cloud automation and integration partner. We have a team of consultants who focuses on VMware products with expertise in VSOM, SRM and VDI. We also have a team of DevOps consultants who are expertise on vSphere API, VRA, VRO, REST and SO. About myself, I am Gopi Krishna. I have 5 years of IT experience working on virtualization platforms like VMware and Citrix. I do have industry recognized certifications like VCP, VCAP, VCIX, Citrix and Red Hat. For this Nutanix coding challenge, we come up with a use case using a self service engine. We use VRA. Uh, VDA admin is tasked to provision virtual desktop for a team, for example, HR, finance, and admin on VMware View with either Nutanix Acropolis hypervisor, which serves as a gold tier to meet the performance and cost, de cost demands, or a traditional VMware based hypervisor running vSphere. The VDA admin submits the virtual desktop request on the VRA self service catalog. Either he chooses the gold, which is the hyperconverged Acropolis based hypervisor, or the traditional VMware based hypervisor. So the, the gold tier uses the ACLA and PowerShell commands to create the virtual desktop, and the silver tier uses the vSphere API to create the virtual desktop. Once the virtual desktops are created, those virtual desktops are added to the view pool, and those details are sent to the VDA administrator through email using the Prism API. Over to the demo. So as I said, here are my two service catalog in VRLIS automation. One is for the Acropolis based hypervisor, another is for the traditional hypervisor. Here is my Prism dashboard. I have one Acropolis hypervisor, one storage pool, and one container. I have three VMs out of which one is the CVM. So I have created two VMs master templates, one desktop without any customization, another is the Windows 7 with syscript. So this is my view administration console where I don't have any pools right now. Let us start the provisioning. Considering the request is for the finance team. I am giving the prefix for the virtual desktops as finance. Can give the number of virtual machines to be created. The VM profile is basically the configuration details of the VM. If I choose small, it shows the VM is 1 CPU and 1 GB memory. If the VM requires backup, I can choose whether the VM requires backup network. Based on the customer's requirement, I can Select whether the VM has to be in a secure DMZ zone or in a private company's private network. Once I finish my VM details, I can go and submit my view. This request is for the finance team. I'm giving the pool name as finance pool. You can choose either of the assignment, whether it should be a floating or dedicated. And the AD group I have to choose. Submitting the request. You can see here the workflow has started. Before the VMs are being provisioned on the Nutanix hypervisor, let me explain how I have developed this workflow. So when I was exploring the APIs available for the Nutanix, I found that Nutanix provides PowerShell, ACLI, NCLI, and Prism APIs. I chose PowerShell and ACLI for this Nutanix code challenge. You can see here, I have in the backend, I'm using PowerShell to invoke a SSH session, and inside the CVM, I'm invoking the CLI commands to clone the virtual desktop from the template. Based on the VDA administrator selection, the VM profile, all the VMs will be reconfigured and any additional NICs that has to be added will be added. 
So once the virtual desktop is provisioned, the virtual desk the pool will be created in the view, in the, in the view connection server, and virtual desktops will be added to the pool. The associated user will be entitled to the pool, and the VM details will be sent as an email. As you see, as you can see here, the virtual desktop has been created. The VM is being customized. The VM is customizing. You can see here, the VM has been created, and the pool is being created. So once the pool is created and the virtual desktop is added to the pool, the, the, the details are sent to the view administrator. The workflow has completed. You can see here the finance pool has been created and the user assignment is set to floating. Both the virtual desktop has been added to the finance pool and the finance AD group has been associated entitled with the finance pool. So the, the details of the virtual desktop is emailed to is sent as a report to the VDA administrator. Thank you for watching the demo. For more videos and use case, please visit our website easyautomation.com.